สวัสดีครับ Today marks the first official day of rainy season. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. As a small tourist island, some of the busiest places in Phuket are the shopping malls, and yesterday had to be a record as officials say that over 30,000 people total were recorded visiting the entire Central Festival and Floresta shopping mall complex. It was the first day the malls reopened nationwide, nearly two months after the first orders were made to close them all down, along with other entertainment venues and businesses, all to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Central Phuket Mall, like many around the country, is not only doing temperature checks on all patrons entering the mall, but they're also having all entrants scan a QR code before entering to check in with the Thai China app. If you don't have the app, you can download it on your phone prior, or you can use Line app to scan the QR code. Although the number of visitors to the malls yesterday were near capacity, Governor Pakapong noted that the malls did not appear to be crowded. It's the first phase of the easing of restrictions around the country, with social distancing measures in place. Food sales can resume in food courts and eateries across the country, while shopping malls and department stores could open until 8 p.m. Fitness centers can also reopen only for yoga, weight rooms, and social distancing activities like rock climbing and gymnastics, with no spectators. What will remain closed is cinemas, massage shops, and other entertainment venues that crowd people together. Also note that the nationwide nightly curfew is now from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Three more COVID-19 cases for Thailand today, bringing the nationwide total to 3,031. Out of the new nationwide total, 94% have recovered, and no new deaths were announced, as the death toll remains at 56. Out of today's new cases, one is a female resident of Phuket who only returned to the island from Prachinburi on Friday. But officials here in Phuket say no new cases were found, as the total for the island remains at 224. No explanation so far has been given for the discrepancy between the cases reported by Phuket officials and national level officials in Bangkok. Though the Phuket office of the PR department has informed the Phuket News that this issue will be discussed at a meeting today. So far, three people in Phuket have died as a direct result of being infected with COVID-19, including an Australian hotel manager from Khao Lak, whose family lives in Naiharn. Stay up to date with the latest at thephuketnews.com. Despite the relaxing of several restrictions nationwide, officials have renewed the ban on international flights into Thailand until the end of June, meaning international arrivals cannot re-enter until at least July 1st. The extension of the ban was announced on Saturday, after originally being put in place on April 27th amid the COVID-19 outbreak. Airports across Thailand are still allowing repatriation flights, military aircraft, and other things like humanitarian aid and medicine. And anyone from these flights must be subject to 14-day quarantine as well. Meanwhile, looking into land travel within Thailand, the Phuket Provincial Police Commander is warning that only people attending to, quote, urgent matters are being allowed onto the island through the Phuket checkpoint at the northern tip, subjected to strict inspection and after submitting proper documents. As of last week, according to the Phuket Smart Check-in app, 28,490 people have registered their intent to come back to Phuket, while 20,000 people have already left Phuket. Police are on the hunt for the ex-husband of a 23-year-old woman and an accomplice for shooting into a home in Tepkasatri before dawn. Police were called just before 6 a.m. yesterday to a house in Talang. Reports say that three people were sleeping in a house, a child, the 23-year-old mother of the child, and the 53-year-old grandmother, when five shots were fired and then the sound of a motorbike was heard speeding off. The two women ran outside but were unable to see and then found gunshot holes in the walls of their own home. After an inspection, police believed the gun used was homemade and at the moment, the woman's ex-husband, Warakon Tavon, who's 23, he's the prime suspect. After the two separated earlier this year and he was later accused of firing a weapon in a nearby grocery store in which no one was hurt. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Today, May 18, 2020 marks the official start of the rainy season in Thailand, with the meteorological department warning that Tropical Cyclone Ampan is headed our way. Right now, Tropical Cyclone Ampan is in the Gulf of Bengal and moving towards Bangladesh, with experts saying that over the next few days, southern Thailand can expect heavy rains with downpours expected later this week in Pechaburi, 
Suratani, Prachua Kiri Khan province, and here in Phuket. Small boats are also advised to stay ashore. You can follow the latest at thephuketnews.com. And that's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'd like to thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Mm -hmm.